Hey everybody, this is Kenny with Oxmoor Toyota. We're out here today for our Tundra launch event. I've got Kurt Shanig here, a uh, sales trainer for Toyota. And we're gonna show some really neat features on what this Tundra can do with backing up this boat on its own. So we're gonna jump into the truck and show this thing off. All right, so we're inside the new 2022 Tundra and Kurt's got his hands on the controls over here and ready to do this thing. So Kurt, uh, take it away. Okay, so one of the new features on the all-new 2022 Tundra is a trailer assist feature called Straight Path Assist. And the idea is to maintain the trailer, the, maintain control of the trailer as you're backing the trailer down, the, down a boat ramp into the water to keep the trailer and the, and the truck straight. So all we're going to do here is press a button. We're going to shift into reverse first. We're going to press this button here and all we're going to do is control the speed of the trailer and the truck and it's going to automatically back the truck and the trailer in a straight path as you back the boat trailer down the ramp and it's going to do it automatically all you're doing is going to, is all you're doing is controlling the speed so question for you on that kurt so is this something to where you just kind of like just point and shoot, uh, is, do you have to tell it exactly where you want to go or does it just find its center? So what you're going to do is make sure you're in a straight line first and when the, tr when the truck and the trailer are in a straight tr line then you're going to activate the system and it's going to maintain a straight path as you're backing the trailer and the truck down the boat ramp and the idea is to keep the truck and the trailer in a straight path. Many times when a driver is backing their boat down the ramp, it may be difficult to maintain a straight path with the boat trailer and the truck at the same time. So this system is automatically going to maintain a straight path as you are backing your truck and your trailer down the boat ramp. And once again, all you're doing is controlling the speed. You can program up to four different trailers into the system and there's a selection for boat trailers, RV trailers, utility trailers uh, that you once you program the trailers into the system they stay in there so you can you can select which trailer you're using and then that trailer will be in, inputted into the system until you delete it we definitely have a lot of confidence in this thing, Kurt, because you're uh, in between about a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of vehicles of mine, and uh, you felt pretty confident and never touched the wheel. I wasn't quite as confident, but it seems to work pretty good. You have two different tow haul modes. You've got the regular tow haul mode from zero to 5,000 pounds, and then you've got a tow plus mode from 5,000 to 12,000 pounds. The tow haul mode adjusts the shift points to uh, reduce gear hunting and then the tow plus modes adjusts the shift points even further to reduce gear huntings for higher payloads. The new Tundra features a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. In order, to, in order to promote longevity on these turbochargers there are three heat exchangers or three radiators that are exclusive to keep the turbos cool as you're driving down the road. There's an intercooler up here. There's, an, there's a, a heat exchanger down here and a heat exchanger down here. This cooling system is completely separate from the cooling system for the engine. In addition to that, the cooling system for the turbochargers uses its own separate electric water pump to ensure there's coolant circulation even after you shut the engine off if you're coming off an interstate and parking the car right away. And the purpose of that is to keep the turbos cool even after the engine shuts down. Kurt, the screen on the on the new Tundra is massive. Uh, it has a lot of functionality. Can you uh, kind of catch us up to speed on some of the changes to that? We have an all-new multimedia system on the 22 Tundra. This system features 
a state-of-the-art voice recognition system, several different navigation systems, as well as different ways to get to your point of interest. For example, hey Toyota. What do you want to do? Directions to Oxmoor Toyota. I found Oxmoor Toyota. Would you like to go now? Yes. Calculating route to Oxmoor Toyota. I can't wait to see this route. Proceed to the highlighted route. We're almost there. <laughs> hey Toyota. What do you want to do? Directions to Churchill Downs. I found Churchill Downs along your route. Would you like to add it as a stop or start a new trip? Start a new trip. Calculating route to Churchill Downs. Hey Toyota. What do you want to do? Find the nearest rest area. The closest rest area is northbound rest area at Crestwood, key along your route. Would you like to add it as a stop or start a new trip? Add stop. Adding northbound rest area as a stop. So those are some of the advanced voice recognition features on the all new 2022 Tundra. We now have two microphones for much clearer understandability. The speed of the information that's obtained is much quicker than it was last year. Some of the other features on the all new multimedia system, let's just say that you are in a city that you're not familiar with and you wanna to listen to you want to see all the rock stations in Louisville. There's all your rock stations in Louisville. If you want to program these rock stations into the system, you just hit the heart here and it adds them to the presets. You can add more. If you want some of your public stations in Louisville, there's all the public stations in Louisville. If you want to program these in, you hit the heart and it programs them in. You've got a cloud-based navigation system, as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you've got Waze navigation. You've got Google Maps navigation. You've got Apple Maps navigation. So you've got all the benefits, all the features of Apple CarPlay, as well as the cloud-based navigation. All right, in addition to that, we've got a digital rear view mirror for much, um, for much better visibility, especially when you're towing and hauling. The vehicle also has a panoramic view camera. So when you're parking your vehicle, you can see obstacles in a 360 degree pattern. What's really nice about this new panoramic view monitor is that as you're driving down the road, if you want to check some of the things that you've got stored in the truck bed, you've got a truck bed view. That's pretty neat. You also have a front view. You have a rear view. You've got a front side view, and then you got a rear side view. In the rear view, you've got different, if you're backing the vehicle up, you've got different grid lines, you've got dynamic grid lines, you've got, uh, if you're towing, if you're hooking up your trailer, you can see exactly where the hitch is going to be hooked up to the trailer. You've also got a dynamic grid line, so wheel to the right or to the left, you can see exactly where the truck is going to go. You also have an automated view, so when you're going into a parking space, when you go less than five miles per hour, the front view lights up to show exactly where you're going to park. The all-new Tundra features different driving modes. So you've got sport mode, which is going to sharpen the throttle. It's going to change the shift points in the transmission. You also have an eco mode.
There it is. There's the eco mode. You've got an eco mode that's going to uh, uh, allow you to, to drive more efficiently for better fuel economy. All Tundra non-hybrid uh, models feature under the seat storage in the rear. You can store fishing poles, uh, tools, small pieces of luggage, and all kinds of other things in this storage area here. In addition to that, both rear seats fold down for additional storage in the back here, as well as behind the rear seat and the passenger side. Including in the trailer assist package is a trailer hookup light. This LED light points down directly to the trailer hitch, allowing you visibility to hook up your trailer at night. Also available in the new Tundra is a, is a spray in bed liner to help prevent cargo from shifting back and forth as you're driving down the road. We also have an, an all new hard tonneau cover that's water resistant that's going to keep the water out of the inside of the bed. Notice how this hard tonneau cover easily folds back all the way up. You can actually drive down the road with it open because you've got a brace on each side that's going to keep it open. This hard tonneau cover features channels on each side that if water does get inside here it's going to drain through these drain holes in the front keeping your cargo nice and dry as you're driving down the road. 2022 Tundras are available with a 400 watt AC outlet in the rear here as well as available lights in the bed area as well. This is the 2022 Tundra with SR5 with the Sport Premium Package. This model features 20 inch black wheels, color keyed fender flares, a sport tuned suspension that sits about an inch lower than the regular Tundras. The 2022 Tundra features our latest Toyota Safety Sense. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 on the new Tundra features steering assist, lane trace assist, as well as our latest pre-collision systems and dynamic and, and full speed dynamic cruise control. In addition to that, the new Safety Sense 2.5 also features pedestrian assist as well as intersection assist. In the event that you're in an intersection, the system senses a possible collision with oncoming traffic. The system will alert the, the driver of the impending collision. The all-new Tundra also features an electronic br parking brake with brake hold, a real nice feature. If you are going through a drive-through where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of stop-and-go traffic, you can release your foot from the brake and it's going to hold the vehicle. All Tundras feature Toyota's Smart Key system. And on the 2022 Tundra, the Smart Key is now connected to the electronic rear tailgate latch. You can actually release the tailgate with your key fob now. And on the limited grades and higher, there is what we call a bump switch on the driver's side tail light. So for example, if you're coming out of Home Depot with a with a arm full of stuff, you can hit the switch with your elbow to release the tailgate. Well, Kurt, we appreciate you taking the time doing this. Appreciate uh, Toyota coming down and supporting Oxmoor Toyota here today uh, on this big Tundra launch event. So thanks uh, for sharing this with everybody. I know they'll find it very useful.